It's Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. It is Brother Obadiah. And I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, right? So I'm on, I was reading Psalms 47. And I just want to, I just want to go over this real quick, man. It, it's a it, it's a short chapter, but it's something I want to touch on. It, it's short, but it's a mighty chapter. So when I'm reading Psalms 47, it says, "Clap your hands, O ye people! Shout unto Yahweh with the voice of trump." It says, "For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great King over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet." He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. So, and that's the same thing. When I read that, it's the same, it is, it's the same thing when you read. Let me show y'all something real quick. I think it's Psalm chapter 2. When you read, when you read Psalm chapter 2, and it say, let me get that real quick. It says, the Psalm chapter 2, and I want to say verse 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them into pieces like a potter's vessel. So, he says, Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. So, the, the Most High basically, he's saying, Ask, and I will give you the heathens, these other nations. For your inheritance for you to own them so when i just read what i what i had just read is going into how the other nations are going to be below us and that's the kingdom of heaven see a lot of people don't understand the kingdom of heaven is rulership and dominion and that's why we say that we're going to be ruling the scriptures say that that we're going to be ruling in the kingdom of heaven to come right we're going to be that we're going to have dominion we're going to have power we're going to have authority over all these nations, man. Because these nations got to pay for what they did. They got to pay for what their ancestors did. When you read the book of Isaiah, chapter um, 21. Let me get it real quick. Isaiah 21. I mean, 14. Isaiah 14, 21. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for, for the iniquity of their fathers. That they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So, the Most I said, prepare slaughter. Um, it's, he said, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. So, a lot of a lot of these other nations, chiefly the Edomites, they walking around here thinking that they got away. Like you know, you know when somebody do a crime or hit a lick, and they think they got away. Like, Damn, I'm good. I, I done got away. And like, nobody don't know it's me. And then like five or six years down the line, they get caught. Somebody snitch on them or the police pull them over and they something, but they end up getting caught for that crime that they did six years ago. Now that person thought he was sweet. That person thought it was sweet. He thought that he, he thought it was over with. He thought like he thought he, was, he thought he was gonna live his best life. He thought nobody would never find out what he did. And was, he thought he was never gonna have to pay for what he did. But he ended up having to pay for it for something he did six years ago. Same thing with these other nations, bro. These other nations, these heathens that's walking on stolen land, right? They got to pay for what their forefathers did. Your forefathers stole. You know how much wickedness they like? That's why they're trying to take out our history in school. This is why people get offended and don't want to talk about slavery. They'll talk about everything else. They'll talk about 9-11. They'll talk about the Holocaust. Right, they, they talk about all that, but they don't want to talk about slavery. They tell us to forget about it because they don't want to feel the guilt and they know they got to pay for what their forefathers did. They, they, they hate to hear that because they know it's a judgment coming for them. You can't do, your forefathers did all this crime, all this wickedness, and you think that you just finna be, it finna be just sweet. Like, and it, it, it ain't even what y'all did, it's what y'all still doing. Like, y'all are still doing the same nothing ain't changed y'all are still doing the same thing y'all was doing back then people like to say racism is dead racism and racism is dying off we in 2024 we are we are different human beings no racism is not dying off all you gotta do if you want to know if racism dying off uh get on if you got a, a game system ps4 xbox one pl play against play against somebody and you beating them real bad and watch that racism come out i done seen the video 
Cam Newton. Cam Newton was playing again. I actually was gonna make a video on this, but I, don't, I, I had changed my mind with the spirit. I ain't, I ain't really want to hop into that, but it kind of made me upset though. But the spirit of the Lord, not my bad. But what happened was Cam Newton. Cam Newton was playing against. Uh, anybody know Cam Newton? Cam Newton. Um, he played for for the for the Auburn Tigers, Heisman Trophy winner. He ended up getting drafted to the Panthers, going to the Super Bowl, and things like that. So he a known person. He from Atlanta. He he, he known everybody. Mostly, everybody mostly know Cam Newton. So he be playing game. He be playing the game for content and things like that. He be on uh, college football twenty four. Now he's playing against this white dude. Now mind you, the white dude wasn't saying nothing the whole game. Cam Newton was trying to talk to him. He asked him what his name was. He asked where he was from. He didn't turn his mic on at all. He wasn't trying to talk to him the whole game. Now, Cam Newton, at the end of the game, Cam Newton started winning. Cam Newton scored a touchdown, and the white dude basically said, uh, he called him the N-word, and then he said, I can smell the fried chicken from over here. So, you know, over a video game. That's only just, that's just over a video game. And if you make them mad enough that that racism is going to come out, rather they say it to your face or behind closed doors, they're going to talk about you, man, and, and race, throw racial, slur, racial, racial slurs at you. Why? Because they, they are the same people of their forefathers. They got the same blood as their forefathers. They got the same blood as wicked George Washington, their own slaves, as Thomas uh, Jefferson, their own slaves. They had the wicked blood in their veins as Donald Trump. So... They, they, they wicked. They demonic people. That's why the Lord gonna say. This why, this why the Lord said in Obadiah, man. And people be so surprised when they, when the racism come out. Oh my God! Wow. We in twenty twenty four. This right, and you call me this? Like I seen the brother. It was a video. It was a video of an Edomite basically telling the brother he, he, he knew a tree down the street that he can hang him on. Like, it's a video of that. The Edomite was so proudful and laughing. The brother mad, recording him saying, "You, I'm not going nowhere." Because the Edomite was telling him to leave. He like, "I'm not going nowhere." But the brother was shocked. He was shocked that the Edomite said that. Why? Because they trust their enemies, right? They 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 they, they trust in their enemies and they think that they, they done changed, right? They think they got us um throughout the years that they changed, but no, it, it get worse. It just hiding. They just it just hidden better in today's time. When you read, man, when you read 1078, bro. Not 1078, Obadiah, which is on page 1078 on my Bible. When you read Obadiah chapter 1 and verse, I'm going to start at verse 2. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathens, thou art greatly despised. So Obadiah is, is basically, and this is, why, this, is why, this is one reason why I chose my Hebrew name is Obadiah. Right? It's one of my favorite books. It's a, it's a short book, only one chapter, but it's my favorite book because it's going into the judgment of the Edomites. The Bible said, I have made these small among the heathens and the Edomites are the so-called white people for people that I didn't know. He said, I'm, and I gotta I got wrap it up real quick we finish, uh, brother's coming out, but I'm gonna make it quick. He said, I made these small among the heathens. So the so-called white people, they small among the heathens. Out of all the race, out of all the races on the earth, they are the, they are the smallest race. Like in number wise, their, their babies are dying more than they're being born. Like they're, they're literally, they wanna, they wanna, um, trick people and say they they the biggest race right that they, 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 they the majority no they they the minorities they we not the minorities right the bible said the israelites are like the sand of the sea they cannot be measured in number you can't you can't measure how many so-called black people is on this earth they try to they say it's about four billion but they say three billion but they don't they don't even know shallow one king all right all right they don't even know um uh, hold on real quick y'all Come. They don't really, they don't even really know how many people, uh, how many of us it, it really is on this earth. You can't measure us, not even, even in America, you can't measure how many of us it is. It's too many of us. But the Bible said the Edomites, the so-called white people, it said that they are small among the heathen. They, they are despised, man. How, how you despise? How, how are you small, right? How, how do people look at you as being small and puny? But you down ruling this earth. Shalom, King. You ruling this earth, but yet the Bible just said that you're small and despised. Every every so-called every race of people talk about the so-called white man and how wicked they is. They talk about how they steal, how they went to different lands and and uh, stole everything. 
they talk about how they um just how the money they is every race of people doing that they are greatly despised man every, I'm about every nation of people despise the so-called white man you know what the bible said it said the pride of thy heart have deceived thee the bible said they pride that pride that they got deceived them making them think they're the biggest race that they can't be brought down that nobody can't mess with them right that they they just superior they 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 pride despise them not knowing y'all ain't y'all ain't superior y'all stole everything y'all even stole our characters in the bible whitewashed them you whitewashed jesus christ right so your pride making you think that you bigger than what you is but you little but you can't see you little every everybody every nation of people see you little but yourself you feel like you mighty and big because you got money you got a little bit of power right now but the lord gonna do you like he did pharaoh pharaoh thought the same thing i got a lot of power i can't be brought down the lord gonna bring him down man and put us in rulership it says the pride of the heart deceived thee thou hast dwelt in the cliffs of the rocks whose habitation is high that says in his heart who shall bring me down to the ground so the bible said they dwell in the cliffs of the rocks that's how we know this talking about the so-called white man they, they they dwell in the rocks they from the caves Right, they from they from the cave. though they that's why they call themselves that were Caucasians. Where it come from? Cause they from the Caucasus Mountains, the Caucasus Mountains. Right, so they come from the caves, and the Bible said, um, they say, "Who gonna bring me down to the ground?" That's how they. That's what. That's how they feel. Who gonna bring me down? Who gonna bring America down? But who's gonna bring? Who gonna take my money away from me? I'ma always be ruling. I'm always gonna have my money. I'm always gonna have my wealth. I'm gonna live here in America forever. That's how they feel, man. But this is why we go out, we come out here day in and day out and prophesying the downfall of America and the Edomites, man. And the other nations too. We come out here and prophesy that because the more we prophesy, the more the quicker the prophecy happens. So this is why we going out here and teaching this Bible, man, so we can get up out of here and get into rulership again. As the Israelites, according to the Bible, right? As the, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? So with that, I'm gonna give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimi Hawashai. I say Shalom.